Hi internet friends, it's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. I wanted to bring a quick bonus tip. The question was posed on Facebook how to do separate moldings in a room. And so I wanted to show you this real quick. So the answer, short answer is each um, change of molding shape or color has to have its own um, unique molding polyline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this room and I'm in X13. I'm going to create a, um, down here in the child tools, I'm going to create a room molding polyline right here. And I'm going to choose the base molding. That's the one I'm going to change for this example. Height is zero off the floor. That's fine. Click OK. Now I've got a molding polyline selected. You can see down in the lower left hand corner of my screen it says molding polyline. I've got the molding polyline selected and open this and you can see the specifications 7 8 inch thickness floor finish is, is zero off the finished floor. I've got this molding shape and uh, these colors, this color of molding. Cancel that. If I wanted a, let's say this standard shape on this wall back here with the red uh, grab handle highlighted, that can stay there, but let's say this one over here wants to change, so I'm going to click on this. Let me go back. This one's red. This grab handle in the middle of this square small grab handle is not red, so I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to choose this disconnect selected edge, uh, and that will disconnect this one line of the polyline separate from the other lines. And now I can open this and change that to a different uh, molding shape. Let's replace this with a different shape quickly here. Uh, maybe you've created your own shape, but I want to do uh, this one right here. Let's do weird ones. Let's say this is the same shape as this back wall, but I want a different color. So I'm going to disconnect that at, from the edge. And I'm going to quickly go into my shapes, my room here. And you'll see I've got this molding that's that different shape. This molding is the original. Let's come over here. This molding is a separate line. So I can do a different color. gold crust color. That'll be that. Keep Just keep working around the room as needed so that you can have different colors and shapes. Oh, one quick note. You could draw your own lines around here and create those as a, let's just draw a line and convert that as a molding polyline uh, and give it you know, seven eighths of an inch, so that it sits on the on the uh, finished floor, add its own um, molding profile, etc. Let's change this one maybe to this shape or this shape right there, and you can give that its own color as well. Um, but I, the example I showed earlier of the room molding polyline is just the fastest way because that would automatically cut around doors. Um, windows, if you're using this as a chair rail, it puts it right to the wall. Um, but yes, you could manually uh, do this, draw molding polylines as well. Hope that's helpful. I hope you've learned something. If you like this information, please click like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.